Hello, this is Ray Main here again with today's Bible reading. Today we're reading in the book of 1 Chronicles, chapter 8. And it came to pass that after the year was expired at the time that kings go out to battle, Joab led forth the power of the army and wasted the country of the children of Ammon and came and besieged Reba. But David tarried at Jerusalem, and Joab smote Reba and destroyed it. And David took the crown of their king from off his head, and found it to weigh a talent of gold. And there were precious stones in it, and it was set upon David's head. And he brought also exceeding much spoil out of the city. And he brought out the people that were in it, and cut them with saws, and with harrows of iron, and with axes. Even so dealt David with all the cities of the children of Ammon. And David and all the people returned to Jerusalem. And it came to pass after this that there arose war at Gezer with the Philistines, at which time Sebekai the Hushanite slew Sippai that was of the children of the giant, and they were subdued. And there was war again with the Philistines, and Elhanan the son of Jair slew Lami the brother of Goliath the Gittite, whose spear staff was like a weaver's beam. And yet again there was war at Gath, where was a man of great stature, whose fingers and toes were four and twenty, six on each hand and six on each foot, and he also was the son of the giant. But when he defied Israel, Jonathan the son of Shimei, David's brother slew him. These were born under the giant in Gath, and they fell by the hand of David and by the hand of his servants. Well, this is a short chapter, isn't it? Basically, what this is telling about is that the Lord was with the children of Israel against the giants that were in the land. There was a man named Goliath whom David slew years ago when he was but a boy. And we see the rest of uh, Goliath's family, if you will, his brothers, his sons, all of them eventually being killed by David and his men. What about you? That's what I get out of this, outside of this being a bloody time. He's talking about bringing the people out of the city and tearing them apart with axes and harrows of iron and saws and, my Lord, defies imagination almost. But anyhow, that's the reading for today. God bless you. Have a blessed day.